Hello, welcome to another 20p challenge. I am the self-indulgent gamer. Uh, this week is Konami's Bells and Whistles. How will I do? See you in just a minute. have a laugh at me. This is the, the second time I've tried to record audio from, from my channel or for this video. Yeah, so for the first time for some reason the microphone didn't work so I thought, ugh, I know. Do a bit of effort, I'll redo it again and I'll just record some waffle over what I'm doing right now. Got to the end and uh, I've just recorded the background music for the game. Uh, and not me at all. So this is me doing it again. This time I've actually boosted sound because at the moment I'm burning an image onto a hard drive. And I, what I didn't realise was uh, <laughs> there's, there's, it's causing a slight vibration through the microphone. So I've done some tweaking and I've had to move the microphone. Uh, yeah. Anyway, off topic. So anyway, 20p challenge. Uh, bells and whistles. Uh, made by Konami 1991 um, yeah I played this a long time ago um, and it didn't really click uh, I found the mechanics a bit fiddly like trying to shoot the bells getting the right colour and grabbing them before the enemy obliterates you um, yeah it's not a bad game um, there were better games. Uh, certainly for the time, as I've said twice previously now. <laughs> uh, same game, our type is one of my ultimate favourite games. Uh, and Salamander, it's a great game. Space Harrier, obviously not the same t style of game, but certainly the shooters go. And I think people forget how old Space Harry is. 1985, that's a phenomenal game for 1985. Um, and I still really enjoy that game. That clicking noise isn't a bomb, that's uh, <laughs> my radiator. Uh, today, as you can see, I'm sporting my Christmas Space Invaders jumper. I'm not wearing it because it's Christmas, I'm wearing it because I like it. Um, I do like to wind people up though, because for some reason people in the wild, their brains are wired up wrong. So when I wear this in March, there are people that actually stop me in the street and say, it's not Christmas. I'm like, I don't care. It's my jumper. <laughs> I'll wear it whenever I want. Uh, yeah, people are weird like that. A bit like racists. People that feel the need to say negative stuff to people in the street. What's wrong with you? Seriously, you people are alone. Um, yeah, anyway, bells and whistles, not my favourite game. Um, I do feel that I probably am a bit hard on it really because I didn't really practice that much. I practiced, well, literally twice, maybe even once. Yeah, I was going to practice twice, but then I couldn't be bothered. I mean, it's the wrong attitude, I know. Um, especially when uh, Mark Blaster, he's got like a 15 minute run. Um, I think round five boss he got to. So I'm assuming he doesn't hate it. When I'm saying that those games that I hate and I can finish, so it doesn't really mean anything. Mm. Yeah, the music's kind of mm. it's a bit like uh, Rodland. I couldn't tell you anything about the music in Rodland, but I do enjoy that game. I like how it plays and the mechanics and stuff. But some, I think some games it's like, oh, let's just create this background music. It doesn't really matter what it sounds like. Then you get some really awesome games. Some awesome. In fact, you know, you can have mediocre games with great music. And if, if it wasn't for that music, people wouldn't even bother playing that game. Um, just, I don't know. 
music really can really elevate a game from mediocre to actually that's yeah, alright. Um, there's quite a few games like that on the Commodore 64. If it wasn't for the likes of Rob Hubbard and uh, I've got all their names now all of a sudden. Alan Whitaker. He's a he's a he's a travel man, isn't he? Anyway. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, there's loads of great games on the Commodore, no, there's loads of great tunes on the Commodore 64 of games where, that I load purely just to listen to them, the music. Uh, there's some idea like, a Yeah Kung Fu, that's a great tune in that. I listen to that sometimes. Uh, incidentally I've been listening to a bit of uh, Vangelis, I don't know if anyone else out there likes Vangelis, but uh, Notice that a few of their songs sound a lot like a, a few of the ocean loaders. Um, in the future, I might actually look at that and kind of do a comparison uh, video. Um, as I said previously on my other voice recording, uh, I might even do like a, a list video. I really like do. Uh, I like watching other people's list videos and going, "That is shit." Uh, why is that in your top ten? Kind of thing. Uh, and at the same time I'm like, I can't really do a top 10 because they've done it, but then based on that then no one would ever do anything, would they? Um, and look at those people that do bloody reaction videos on videos that people have already done. It's like, and they've got millions of views. What's that, what's that all about? Oh, there's an American reacting to a British person eating American food. It's like, right, really? Weird. So anyway. Off tangent. Bells and whistles. Yeah, it's a shooter map. I might have to play a bit more. Let's give it another go. Um, but yeah, bits like this where I was scaling, but it's done really bad. Uh, it's just more of a visual mess than anything. Um, I do find the patterns, the, the the ship patterns, a bit weird. And how these creatures walk in the sky? They appear in the sky and walk in the sky. They're not even flying. So, I know it's a game, but you know, try and at least adhere to some kind of logic or rule. Like clouds are in the sky, they're floating. And then you have these weird duck things that just appear and then walk in the sky. They haven't even got wings. Have they even got there? What's, what's that doing? It's a chick with no wings in the sky. How? Um, so yeah, oh yeah, and the bells have answered already because. I don't know what I've said and what I haven't said <laughs> this time around. Yeah, yeah, so you have to shoot the barrels till they change colour. Uh, but you don't actually know what colour you're going to get. I don't think there's a pattern. You, it's So it's not like you, you can shoot a bell to go red and then it goes back to gold, then back to red again. It's, they go to another colour, but I don't think it's always. It's, I don't think it's ever in the same in a sequence. It's harder to then organize your power-ups it could be a, it could be it could be a great game um, I just don't feel that much thought has gone into the mechanics they've got come up with the ideas and kind of chucked them in the game but not really thought about how it works um, but like, again going back to our type if I haven't said it yet so you have certain power-ups that suit that part of the level, like the ones that follow the wall, that destroy turrets on the walls or you know, the, the ground and the surface, and then you've got the bouncy bomb that works, bouncy bomb, the bouncy laser, that works really well in enclosed areas, and then you've got the uh, coloured ring, which is really powerful, it's shooting, shooting stuff straight in front of you, whereas this one it just gives you any power up in any context, there's no real logic as to why this power up is here at any given point and it's not like you can even pre-plan either it's, yeah. and this boss is quite yeah. and as pointed out by another video you can't fly over it as soon as you touch it you die Um, also, on a side topic, I've been trying to download and uh, 
create this Batasera 2 terabyte image from uh, Arcade Punks and it's proven to be quite a challenge. So what you don't realise is you download this 2 terabyte image or 1.6 terabyte image. You then have to unzip it, which takes 20 hours, and then you have to reform the zip files because they will split up into like one gig chunks. And that takes like another bloody 15 hours. And I uh, spent all day that, doing that yesterday and the, the blimmin' thing failed. So I'm doing it again and now it's on the final, the actual burn in the image. So it's auto boots and it's on 35%. And that's been doing that for the last five hours. So yeah, oh look, there's my face. I do pull some funny faces. Um, yeah. And here I waffle for a bit. Um, I've forgotten what I was doing, but I now. So yeah, <laughs> I tried to end the video a couple of times. We'll wait, shall we? Oh yeah, my room behind me is the reason it's still a mess. I'm having the, the hatch moved to make the access easier, and I'm going to redo the shelving and stuff to hopefully get more in. But uh, yeah, that's going to happen in about two weeks. So in two weeks' time, it's all going to be different. But anyway, pointy finger means it's near the end. Uh, thank you for watching, blah blah blah, and I hope you enjoyed it anyway, even though, you know, I waffled. Goodbye.